guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, yeah, goodbye. Hey guys, okay, that's another weird intro. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be showing you how to make bubblegum bubble gum putty. And basically, it's like something that looks like bubblegum putty form. So, it's not edible, but hey, it's... It'll look like bubblegum, okay? Yeah, okay. Also, if you guys are new to this channel, please subscribe. It'll be anywhere around the screen, again, <laughs> like the last video. So original, Sabrina. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the video. Anyways, let's get started now. Woo! Okay, things you'll be needing are a bowl, a stick, or something to mix with. Get in there! Oh, wow, okay. There you go. Some white glue, and some clear glue, some neon pink and purple food coloring, but if you don't have any neon colors, you can also use red food coloring. Borax, or any working slime activator. You can search up those um, on the internet, duh. <laughs> And your hands. Let's get started now. First add some clear glue to your bowl. Add as much as you want. Okay. Take some white glue and just pour a little bit in there. You don't want it too opaque but you don't want it too clear. So I would put like that much, so it's not much, but it's definitely something. So that if you had my amount, that's how much glue you would add. And yeah, then mix these together, and you should have um like a basically white glue, but a little more just a little more different looking let's move the camera there next take your pink and purple food coloring or just plain old red food coloring and put one drop of pink first and mix it up so it would look like this really really bright pink color it's almost like pink strawberry neon icing and then take your purple food coloring and just like add half a drop which is just squeezing a little bit out and then just touching it with your stick oh i obviously added a bit too much so i'll add a little bit i'm actually gonna experiment and add some red Oh, I should have just done half, because I have no idea what color will this be like. Oh, that's okay. That's um, pretty bubblegum-y type color. Now, I forgot to show this, but you'll also be needing a little bit of yellow acrylic paint, and this is the brand I am using. And you're just squirting, like, a very teensy, teensy, teensy little bit. like that much. Oh, it's not focusing. And then mix. I added a bit too much, but now add back in your pink food coloring. So I didn't really like the um, color after adding my pink, so I modified it a bit and I added some white paint and then one more drop of pink um, neon pink food coloring and I got this color which looks it might look the same but it's actually different in real life and let's move on to the next step next take your borax solution or any working slime activator and just put in one tablespoon first oh <laughs> that was a little bit of a fail but 
just mix it up and you make it like a starting slime look. I'm gonna mix it up with this. But it's still gonna have some like glue extras and all that. Okay, but you don't wanna add too much um, borax at a time, even though this is meant to be putty. You still wanna go pretty, you know, gentle or whatever. We're gonna add one more tablespoon. Just basically add a tablespoon of borax at a time or about a tablespoon, just one. And mix. So I'll be back when I'm done that. Once you have something like this, where it's like clean, starting to clean up its bowl. Sorry, I'm covering a bit of the light right now. Put that aside, put the borax away, bet you'll still need it and just start kneading it in the bowl. And at first it might be something like this, but keep on kneading and adding bits of borax in it. So I would need to add one more tablespoon. And since this is meant to be putty, you want it a bit thicker than usual. But if you want to add slime, just add less borax. And keep on kneading in the bowl until all the borax is gone. Then see how's your consistency. Once you finish, you should have something like this. Mine still has a little bit of borax, so I have to keep kneading. But then you can start to play with it. So since I still have the borax, I definitely still have to play with it. But it's definitely like a putty. Oh, is it focusing? Yeah. Okay, and that is it. That's how you make Bubble gum putty um, slime, or wait, no, bubble gum putty, basically. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Excuse my really pink hands. I don't know why it's so pink on camera, but maybe it's the food coloring. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Oh, and subscribe to be officially part of the pickle or potato or carrot or cookies or sprinkle jar <laughs> basically Woo! and i'll see you all next time bye here's a little tip if your um putty is not putty enough for you just start adding half a tablespoon or something like that basically half of what you used to put in so before I told you guys to put in one tablespoon at a time, once you have something like this, but it's still really slimy, just add half of it. Okay, there's a little tip for you guys.